Okay, so. Oh, hold on. Okay, so. What I'm about to drop is a young lady that um, describes basically how her marriage fell apart and when it fell apart and how she got over it um, and how she's doing right about now because she is flourishing. So basically the reason why I'm dropping this is um, or the reason why I'm sharing this, let me just say that. The reason why I'm sharing this is because this is truly how you get over, um, or uh, let me say not get over. This is truly how you heal from a very bad situation that you would say, um, or just heal from someone that you loved um, at once point in time in your life. So, all right. Uh, let me go ahead and drop this beautiful young lady that is now um, a business owner and once was cheated on, but you would never be able to tell. So, Five years ago to this day, I started to get the feeling that something wasn't right. And although at the time I didn't know what, I'd love to share with you the difference between then and now. And I literally can't believe it's been five years. So five years ago on this date, I was at one of my oldest friend's weddings. This is somebody I went to high school with. And the only reason I remembered was because I was watching her story post today and she was posting anniversary posts of her and her husband that it's been five years. And their wedding was absolutely beautiful, but not for me. On their wedding day, I spent most of the day wondering if my spouse was going to be attending the wedding with me as my plus one. I didn't have a final answer from him till a few hours prior to the wedding. Crazy, right? For you to wonder if your spouse is going to be your plus one. But in February of 2019, we had spent approximately two and a half to three weeks living in separate homes. He stayed at our residence and I was at my mom's house. Because what did we fight about? Money just his usual unwillingness to help provide a better life for our kids but i digress so whatever we end up going to the wedding and my mom comes with us because my daughter is a baby at the time and she's solely breastfed so we really needed her assistance and we needed her to be close by but the wedding was no kids and it was in temecula like in the vineyards so we got a hotel in temecula right off the freeway i want to say on winchester road dropped my mom off there with my daughter and then we took off to the wedding and i'm like so happy for my friend i never had a wedding i didn't have any of those experiences and it was just so beautiful to witness and like just to see their love and know them for so many years they had been together for such a long time i was so happy for them it was just done so beautifully but at the wedding obviously there's people that i've known since high school that were friends my spouse is like continuously disappearing and i'm like what the heck we would go from dancing but like there was no connection between us but he would keep disappearing and i was like what where did he go did you see him or just i know like asking and on one of those occasions i didn't find out till later but one of my other oldest friends from a very long time was like hey he was making comments back there saying like he knows that you're like being with somebody else because you were at your mom's house with the kids and everybody shut him down super quick like what are you talking about now of course now it makes sense he was giving those accusations because of the things that he was guilty of right making those insinuations with my friends hoping that they would say something to them to him but i never did anything like that and when i was staying with my mom i was with my three kids they were with me and my two little ones were tiny ace was probably about a year and some change and my daughter was only a couple months old so let's just talk about aside from the fact that i wasn't even doing any of that or not even capable the next thing is i didn't even feel good about myself i had titty milk leaking out of my titties 24 7 because my daughter was on them and i had ace hanging by my leg 24 7 and i was running my business like there was no gap in time for me but there sure wasn't his but i digress so these things are happening at the wedding and i'm like where is he going like what the heck and then we end up talking to my friend's parents because they're still married and we're like so what's the secret and then they give their secret kind of like communication talk about things etc right and then my spouse laughs and he goes ha, ha ha i think it's just like dealing with their shit right bro i never ever want to be with somebody ever again who says that happiness or the key to our relationship is dealing with my shit because what shit absolutely not so then that's already fishy right but then it's the end of the wedding and we're driving off so mind you we're in like the vineyards in temecula so it's really really dark there's not like street lights or anything like that and since we haven't had any connection or any like intimacy like that that felt very intimate i was like trying to you know 
do things and he rejected me and i remember like being like what the heck you've never rejected me and i just remember turning my head to the side and instantly tears were flowing because i was like i didn't understand like what the heck and because i'm not a person that's like very accusatory or i'm not somebody that's like oh you're doing things behind my back because blah blah, blah i would just kind of was like really hurt i was like dang that's how much connection we're missing that you would reject me to do something fun the kids aren't around like this is prime time to you know like do some roadhead or something you know what i'm saying like what so then i kind of just tried to like brush it off my shoulder and i'm like you missed me like because we were split like i said for like three weeks taking like a break and I was just like, you can't live without me, you know, just like, I guess reassurance without like asking reassurance, but like in the most playful way possible without trying to start an argument. And he's like, actually, I realized that, yeah, I probably could. And I was like, OK, so super shock, right? So then for sure, I just try to ignore it. And then I just turn to the side and I have like tears and like the rest of the ride is pretty silent. So we make it to back to the hotel and. I believe we needed water or something. And I had to stay in the room, obviously, because I had to feed my daughter because she was like desperate for me to get there. And he was gone for a really long time. Now I know, like, why were you gone for so long? Because he was on the phone. You had to, you know, check in with your girl, with your side piece. I didn't know that at the time, you know, but now I know. So anyways, that was five years ago today. And today, do you guys want to know how beautiful my life is and all of the beauty that God gave me from the ashes? Because that was like the beginning of the end, unbeknownst to me. But today, y'all, life is so beautiful and so good. God has given me a new network of friends, professional friends, and also friends in Christ. Today, I experienced my very first time somebody praying over me like, deliverance and that was something so new to me that's a whole other story in itself my home is mine it's peaceful it's clean it's my vibe it's organized it feels like my home i'm not stressed i have no anxiety i have no worries i don't have any feelings of unworthiness or that i'm unlovable or that i'm just not enough all of that is gone next week i have so many big things happening i am opening a new business i am moving into a new office space in a building that i know god placed me in and so much more opportunity and blessing is going to come out of that place because i felt the holy spirit when i stepped in there i felt it and like this glow and this peace what this is what God meant when he said beauty for ashes. This is what God meant when he said that any weapon formed against me shall not prosper. This is what he meant when he said that what the enemy meant for evil, he will use it for good. Because my goodness, five years ago today, little did I know all of the suffering that I was going to go through. And the realization that my entire life and everything I knew was a lie and that I would have to rebuild and actually figure myself out and find out who I really am, my true identity. But in doing so and in going through the trenches, I was going to be given a much more beautiful life. There was something so much more beautiful on the other side, something that he had always wanted for me. And I say all this to say that I know sometimes when we're going through things or when we're hurting or when we're in like dark places it's so hard for us to see what's on the other side and i think that that's what i'm learning the most right now is to just find the joy in every day even if every day doesn't look great just find the joy in every day because one day it will all make sense and then you'll get to the other side and it's like why waste all that time in sadness depression anxiety why spend all those dark days just in darkness when you could try your best to find the joy in every day because one day you'll see the light again and be like dang why did i spend all that time you know what i mean and i know a lot of you guys are like how long and how long will it take me because i know why you guys follow me and you guys have seen my story and how long did it take you and honestly to leave it took me about a year and a half once I was done, I was done. Once I forgave, I forgave him, I forgave myself. That was about a year and a half after. And then came me just living. And honestly, life has just gotten better and better every year since leaving. But the first year to year and a half was so hard. So hard. 
And I feel like in this year, you guys are really going to get to see God work. And it's going to be the hope for many of you. The hope that you guys are searching for. The, I guess, like seeing somebody at the end of the tunnel and be like, dang, that could be me too. Like, I could have that too. If it's not already now and this happiness is not already enough for you now and the glow is not enough for you now, just wait because God just, he's got some more coming. I know it. So yeah